Welcome to the Slow Horses Recap. In a training exercise for MI5, Agent River Cartwright mistakes the target and Second Desk Taverner knows their intel can't be wrong, so he fails the task. He is moved from the park to Slough House, the place where MI5 rejects go. They have all done something wrong to land themselves there. Cartwright was only kept in MI5 because his grandfather, ex First Desk, was able to pull some strings. Their boss and owner of Slough House is Jackson Lamb. He also used to be a First Desk operator. His only goal is to get them all to quit, from poor hygiene to psychologically analysing all of them, like his assistant Standish, that he constantly drinks in front of, because she used to have a problem with alcohol and now attends AA meetings. She had a fondness for her ex-boss Charles, but his death was ruled a suicide. Roddy McRodster, the hot rod, is a hacker. Min and Louisa constantly avoid Strawn. Moody is their janitor, and Sid Baker is the only decent agent. After a horrible stand-up night, Hassan is kidnapped by the Sons of Albion, a far-right extremist group that is going to livestream his execution. Sid is tasked with stealing documents on Robert Hobden's laptop, a disgraced journalist that says he knows the truth behind the kidnapping. Because Sid is out, Kara is made to deliver the documents. First, he breaks into the files and reads them. Then, he hands it over to James Webber, one of the people he believes failed him. The code is a dead end so he follows Hobden to his home and stakes him out. Tracked by Sid, she mocks him for being the one to track Tavener without her knowing and even taking photos of her, until the day that he told her and she gave him a standing ovation. She also admits that she was sent to Slough House by Tavener because she wanted her to keep tabs on Cartwright. At that moment, they catch a robber breaking into Hobden's house. Running in, they save Hobden. In the tussle to escape, the robber shoots Sid. At the bar, Min and Louisa meet up, their lives dishevelled over their home life and work. Min reveals that he was moved to Slough House because he leaked a highly classified document by leaving it on the train. In a drunken mess, they sneak back into Slough House, trying to figure out why Lamb, a first desk operator, was moved to Slough House, and they start their new relationship. They are startled by the sound of an intruder. Confronting him, Min and him fall down the stairs, and the robber dies. At the hospital, Lamb is forced to save Cartwright from Taverner's guards. Saying that Sid is gone, they head to the Slough House, realizing the robber is moody and his burner phone has only one contact, Taverner. Lamb and Taverner meet to try and minimize the fallout. Tavener admits that the kidnapping was real, but she had an agent on the inside. They will rescue Hassan and kill the kidnappers to boost MI5's political reputation and get leverage over political candidates like Peter Judd. Lamb is blackmailed about releasing the truth about Charles' death, and he obliges to knock on the kidnappers' door to notify him that the SWAT is on the way. Gathering the group, they instead break into the apartment, but Alan Black, the informant, is dead and the kidnappers gone with Hassan. They quickly split off to try and get all of the slow horses, knowing that Tavener will try to pin this on them. Min and Louisa are too late and Strawn is taken to the park. Kara manages to retrieve Roddy and Lamb with Standish, but she does receive a voicemail from Tavener to meet at the park for the truth about Charles' death. They meet at a gravesite, where Kara remembers recognizing Alan Black as an MI5 agent on the day that he was stalking Tavener. He took a picture of the meeting, so him and Lamb sneak into the park, to try and retrieve the photo. Now realizing that Tavener orchestrated his dismissal to the Slough House, he interrogates Weber, and after getting the image, Tavener is now unable to kill them. They agree to save Hassan. Now with three kidnappers left, they follow the trail of the van through Roddy's hacking method. The SWAT team put down one member, and at their previous location, they find a body, meaning the last kidnapper has Hassan. They follow him and manage to save Hassan and the last kidnapper, shielding him from the assassin sent by Tavener. Sid and Moody's deaths are gonna disappear. Lamb doesn't want Strawn back. Lamb ends up telling Standish that he gave Charles the gun because he was paranoid of the Russians, but it was a suicide. Leader of the dogs, Duffy helps Hobden cross the street. Richard Bow winds up dead, former MI5 agent and one of the Joes. Lamb investigates, discovering a hidden phone at the scene of the crime with the word cicadas. Explained to River by his grandfather David, cicadas were sleeper Russian agents that pretended to defect and were commanded by Popov, but no cicadas were ever found, or even Popov. After the war fell, Richard stumbled in drunk, citing that he was abducted and fed alcohol. They didn't believe him and he was fired for it. Lamb follows up with the Russian defectors. A known defector is Nikolai Katinsky. At his language school, he was the only one to mention cicadas in his report to the MI5. In the meantime, Weber steals Min and Louisa from Slough House to work on his mission of potentially influencing a future leader in Russia, Ilya Nevsky. Min and Louisa are going to take care of security detail. They meet Nevsky's security team. Keen on his job, Min follows the security team. They stop at a warehouse for a package, but Min is caught. It is reported that he was hit by a car 
and died on impact. Rebecca Mitchell reports that he biked into her vehicle. Lamb is suspicious, taking Min's watch for Roddy to track. Combing through security footage, they realize that Bo was trailing a person at the time of his death an FSB sleeper agent. They search for where Chernitsky went after the assassination. Cartwright pays the taxi driver to find that the flying school is hiding sleeper agents. Cartwright is sent to Upshot. Lamb interrogates Rebecca Mitchell and discovers that she was paid by the language school for Min's death. She admits that Min was killed by a bold man, matching Andrew Chernitsky's description. In town, Cartwright's new identity is a journalist researching a small town. He meets Kelly Tropper, the owner of the loft he is staying at. Knowing about her family owning the flying school and access to the planes, he suspects that her father Duncan is a sleeper agent. In the security detailing, Marcus is sent to replace Min. Moved to Slough House for his gambling problems, another recruit is Shirley. She had a violent outburst and assaulted a co-worker, landing her in Slough House. They break into Ilya Nevsky's house, believing him to be a part of the reason why the MI5 agents are dead, but they find him deceased and missing a thumb. With Nevsky's death, they believe Pashkin to be the new boss. They will continue the detailing and pretend that they don't know that Nevsky is gone. Kara is invited over to the Tropper's house, so Kelly's mother Patricia can defend her town's honour. But on this evening, they get a surprise guest, Andrew Chernitsky. At the end of dinner, he places his phone into Chernitsky's jacket, so Roddy can track him. Sprinting off the land, he trails Chernitsky to the flying school, where he catches Chernitsky and Katinsky, placing a bomb into a plane. He is followed by Patricia. Oblivious to the situation, she tasers him, revealing that she is actually the real sleeper agent. Waking up, Kara finds himself bound to the table. Finding that they are going to fly the plane into the glass house, he struggles for Patricia's phone in the desk. Calling Kelly, they rush over and he explains that he is MI5 and Patricia is a sleeper agent. Released, he calls in code September. They are forced to evacuate Peter Judd. As the plane nears the city, Kara discovers the explosives, meaning Kara caught it in a fake evacuation. Krimov was the defector agent that broke the deal between Weber and Nevsky. Through blackmail, she learns that Katinsky is the spy master or Popov, and that Pashkin is a separate FSB agent. Lam meets with Katinsky once more. Katinsky reveals that he killed Nevsky, so the FSB will give him the name of the person that kills child partner, or Lam. Because Charles was the mole selling MI5 secrets to the Russians, Lam learned of this accidentally by mentioning that the spy in the Stasi they had was female, the Stasi being them killed all three of the women they had. For the fake glass house evacuation, they gave him the other name, Cartwright. With this information out, Katinsky commits suicide. Cartwright gets Kelly to fly him over, arriving in time, but David had already killed Chernitsky. The detailing went horribly. They snuck a gun in and shot Weber. As Pashkin fled, they managed to injure a guard, torturing him. They learned that Pashkin is going to access Nevsky's diamonds and retrieve them using his thumb. Showing him a picture of the other guard that Pashkin killed, he says that Pashkin is going to use an air ambulance to escape, and Marcus finishes him off. In the aftermath, all the sleeper agents are going to be arrested, but Kelly and her father will be fine. Roddy has been pining for Louisa ever since Min died, and Duffy has been under surveillance, because when Pashkin died, he dropped 357 diamonds, they have only recovered 356. In secret, Louisa has the last diamond. The next day, Lam realizes that Standish hasn't showed up for work. She is never late and calls if she can't come in. He sends Shirley and Marcus to check on her house. They discover that she didn't come home that day. Louisa is sent to check in her AA meetings, told about a tall black man that went with her to get coffee after. She checks out the coffee spot and, and possible escape routes. The camera is disconnected and her hairpin is left on the floor, leading to the conclusion that she was kidnapped. Louisa steals registration papers from the car that was taken from the scene leading to Donovan. Kara receives a text of Standish being held hostage. He is forced to meet with someone. That someone is Weber, saying that his sister was also being held hostage. He survived the bullet and left MI5. He is made to retrieve the grey books from MI5 or Standish will be killed. Using a fake diamond, he sneaks in, returning that said diamond to Duffy. Saved by Taverner's ramblings about him ruining her life, he flees into the building. Running into Hobbs, he beats him up and steals his tag. He manages to get into the top secret files room with Molly Dorraine, the file clerk. He receives a call from Lan to not hand over any documents. Prior to this, he learned from an agent. The only teams possible of kidnapping an MI5 agent are three Tiger teams in town. Two of them are out on mission and the chieftains have recently come back. They would only do this if they were commissioned by someone. For precaution, Marcus and Shirley are sent to Donovan's house. They find the plan to kidnap Standish. But the second part, where they keep her hostage for the grey books, the handover never actually happens, and the mediator is taken hostage. Falling out of proportion, first as Ingrid Tyranny confronts Peter Judd, 
the orchestrator behind the Tiger teams and the idea of bringing in the private sector because he is invested. Cartwright learns that Weber has joined the private sector, the chieftains, and that it was all an act. Sly gets a nasty surprise when Lamb visits him, asking for him to fix everything, and returns Standish. CEO of chieftains, he forces Weber to fix the situation with Donovan. Weber confronts Donovan and not wanting money, Donovan wants to look at the files, and the truth, he kills Weber. At the dinner with Sly, Lamb visits them, reiterating the idea of fixing their own mess. Donovan dumps Weber's body in front of the restaurant. To solve this issue, Tierney agrees to give them the request of looking at the great books, and she forces Cartwright to escort them. He agrees and takes Louisa with him. After the viewing, they will arrest Donovan for first degree. Meanwhile, Lamb notices the image with the names on the frame, siblings Allison, Sarah and Ben. He makes Ruddy search the three names for families that grew up in the area eight houses and only one of them can be distant enough for a safe house. In this time, the mediator escapes the safe house. Cartwright and Louisa escort Donovan and his friend Ben, where they meet a file clerk. Meanwhile, the dogs with Duffy roll up. Tierney is told about Donovan and the three siblings, who was dating Allison, a former MI5 agent that was assassinated before she could release a file. Fearing what the content of the file could do to the society, she orders Duffy to kill every person in the shelter, including the MI5 agents. With a tip from Standish, they search for the file. Cartwright notices the dogs, cutting the cameras, and they reach out to Marcus and Shirley before the lines are cut. Donovan reveals footprint, the file Allison was going to leak before she was killed by MI5. The dogs siege the shelter, the file clerk surrenders and they take him out, and ends him. Cartwright and Louisa hold off the dogs, whilst they search for the file. Marcus and Shirley arrive on the scene, gunning down the dogs. Shirley leaves Marcus to duel Duffy, in the shelter Ben is killed. Now with the file, they progress through the tunnel towards the hatch. Wounded in battle, Donovan stays behind, making them promise to leak the footprint file. Donovan is killed. Shirley murders the dogs camping the hatch, freeing River and Louisa. As she returns to save Marcus from Duffy, Lamb and Roddy arrive at the safe house, knocking out Sarah and saving Standish. But they all unite when they realize men have been dispatched to kill them. Sarah is shot but kills the mediator, and Lamb kills Hobbs. They drop Sarah off at the hospital, and frustrated in Standish's praises over Charles and her cooperating with the kidnappers, he reveals that he killed Charles and that he was a traitor selling MI5 secrets to the Russians. She quits MI5, deciding to walk home too. David is shown the document about how they were testing weapons in Istanbul, getting North Korean embassy workers killed and civilians. He destroys the document to protect Cartwright, but he already had it photocopied. He leaks the file and Tierney is forced to step down. Taverner is now first death. She also reveals that she tipped off Donovan and gave Weber her personal recommendation of Donovan. This is where the series ends. Make sure to subscribe and for more, watch this.